ever felt like native speakers just speak too fast or their words mixed together? You're not alone. Today, we're going to learn how to pronounce words just like native speakers, and it will help you understand them better too. Welcome back to AIA. I'm teacher Brittany, your host today. If you want to speak and listen to English more easily, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell so you won't miss our lessons. Are you ready to start? Let's dive in. Ah, te quería mencionar que acaba de hacer, acaba de terminar un nuevo entrenamiento 100% gratis para enseñarte 7 trucos para aprender inglés más rápido, para hablar más fluido. Ahora mismo puedes bajarlo con el enlace pegado en el primer comentario. All right, let's dive into our first major topic today. The intriguing t and d sounds in English pronunciation. Get ready to discover how these sounds can transform your speaking speed and clarity. When we say the letter T between certain sounds like vowels, A, E, I, O, U, or the letter R, it can sound more like a quick D, D, D. This happens because our tongue laps quickly against the roof of our mouth. This change helps us speak more smoothly and quickly in English. Let's look at some examples. The word party sounds more like par -di, party when we say it quickly. Notice how the T sound in party sounds softer, almost like a D, D, party. Party. Another example is potato. When we say it fast, it sounds more like potato. Did you hear how the second T in potato sounds a bit like a soft D? D. Potato. Potato. Let's put these words into complete sentences to practice. First, we have party. Yeah, it's like a regular party. I noticed you weren't at the party. This party kicks off our senior year. Now, let's try potato. It's a potato soup. I now have 400 healthy potato plants. It's his world's famous potato and leek soup. Are you ready to practice? Let's try these words. Butter. Water. City. Daughter. Computer. Moving on, let's tackle another crucial aspect of English pronunciation. Linking sounds. There are two types of linking in English speech. Linking two consonants, linking consonants to vowels. Are they a bit hard to understand? What are consonants and vowels? Vowels are sounds you make with your mouth open. When you say A, I, U, E, or O, oh, your mouth is open and the sound comes out freely. Consonants are sounds you make by closing or partly closing your mouth. For example, when you say B, K, or S, your mouth closes a little to make these sounds. Look at the alphabet. Besides the vowels A, E, I, O, and U, the other letters are all consonants. English speakers often use linking sounds or connected speech in their daily conversations to make their speech flow more smoothly. Let's take a closer look at how linking sounds work and how you can use them effortlessly. 
consonant to consonant with similar sounds. Let's start with an example. She wears a red dress. She wears a red dress. Can you identify the linking sound here? It's in red dress. How many times did I pronounce the letter D? Just one time. That's because the words red and dress share the same D sound, D. When one word ends with a consonant sound and the next starts with the same consonant sound, we link those sounds together. Here are some examples. Bad dog, bad dog. We have two D sounds together. So the words share the sound bad dog. So instead of bad dog, it's bad dog. Another example is cheap plane turns into cheap plane. Cheap plane, cheap plane. Two P sounds are together, so the words share the sound. Cheap plane. Let's look at this next example. Look cool. Look cool. The letters here are different, C and K, but the sounds are the same, K, K, K. So we link the words and they share the K sound. Look cool. Let's try some other examples. Nice sofa. Nice sofa. Linking consonants to vowels. Try to recognize the linking sound in this sentence. Do you remember when Andy got married? Did you hear it? Think about the words when Andy. When Andy. When Andy. What happens? We link the consonant on to the vowel. Together, the words are pronounced when Andy. You can do this if one word ends with a consonant sound and the next word begins with a vowel sound. Let's try some examples. That was a great adventure. Can I have an omelet? There's an elephant in the garden. I ate an apple and two pears. Awesome! You made it through and your pronunciation is already to the next level. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't stop here. If you found today's lesson helpful, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content just like this. Do you want more resources to level up your English even more? Then don't forget to download our free eBooks to help you practice. The link is down below. What do you want to learn next? Tell us in the comments. Keep up the good work and I'll see you in the next lesson.